Hi there! Right now you're giving me something that a lot of artists crave, and that is attention. So first I want to say thank you, and second I want to talk about how too much attention can actually be a bad thing, and why you should appreciate being a nobody. I published my first crime novel here in, in Denmark in 2016, and at the book reception a friend of mine who's a very successful author asked me what I hope to achieve in terms of sales and attention. I think I replied something along the lines of, I'm glad I'm a nobody because even if this book tanks, no one will notice. I was probably just being coy and or drunk at the time, but I've been thinking about it a lot since. For many years I resented the fact that I was nobody. That feeling of being passed over and not being recognized for my creative genius haunted me for years, and it gave me nothing but grief. Let me tell you a couple of stories. I visited a very famous Danish comedian at his office here in Copenhagen and while I was there uh, a restaurant owner came by from across the yard. He came knocking with this weird request. He wanted the comedian, who I don't even think he recognized, to sign a piece of paper saying that his staff could use the comedian's bathroom. It had something to do with restaurant regulations that there had to be a separate bathroom for staff or something like that. And even though the restaurant owner assured my friend the comedian that he would not be held accountable and no one would actually come to use his bathroom, the comedian still said no. I'm a fairly public figure, he said. Even if I want to help, I can't risk being involved in any kind of fraud or shenanigans. Huh. I'd never thought about that. I mean, I don't make the front page of the news for crossing a red light, and I don't get cancelled because I said something inappropriate in a tweet eight years ago or whatever. Nobody cares what I do or say, and that is great. I went to film school with another famous Dane who made the tactical error of marrying a famous Danish rock star. As a couple, they can't go out to brunch or uh, to the movies without being swamped with attention. And when my friend's ex-husband got in a fight a few years ago, the front page of the tabloids read, so-and-so's ex-husband involved in blah blah blah. You see my point? Imagine being name-dropped every time someone you once knew did something stupid. Imagine your kids having to deal with your mistakes because they share your last name. Ugh. But don't get me wrong, it's nice to be recognized for doing good work, and while media attention can certainly help sell books and thereby enable you to make the next one, I'm not sure I want to trade in my anonymity for the kind of scrutiny that these kinds of celebrities have to deal with. If that means selling fewer books, well, I'll happily live with that. I'm actually very grateful that few people know my name or what I look like. And yet, here I am ruining it by putting myself on YouTube. So maybe I should start making videos like this. So please, don't share this video and don't click the like button. To all my fellow nobodies out there, I say be grateful and enjoy it while you can.